Okay, so glycine just says it's a hydrogen. I think I've got that one. And lysine has CH2, 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 da, da. No, I don't know. Proline is cysteine is C. Hello everybody and welcome to another BMSC 200 video. I am your host, Big Daddy Weave. Today, we're going to be talking about amino acids. You got to know them, you got to memorize them, and you got to understand them. Throughout my university tenure, I had to memorize these guys three, four, five thousand times. So I'm here to give you some helpful tips to help you memorize them. Now warning, this is not your one-stop shop to memorizing all the amino acids. We'll cover three things that are kind of like Here's what worked for me, and hopefully add some helpful humor to help you remember the amino acids for the exam. One of the most helpful things I ever did was download the amino acids app. That way, when people are trying to have a normal conversation with you, you can just stare at your phone like a typical millennial and indulge yourself in some beautiful amino acids. See how happy this man is? He's studying amino acids. Now flashcards. I can't even begin to tell you how high my stack of amino acid flashcards is. Oh, here it is. Now is when you pause the video and look for any clues to try to figure out my real identity. Okay, he likes grape soda. He uses a blue elastic band. You'll never catch me! <laughs> what? Now honestly, the best way I found for me to memorize all the amino acids was just to draw them over and 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 over You get the point. Repetition is key. Now, drawing all the amino acids out is great, but it really doesn't help you understand the amino acids, and it might not even be the best learning strategy for you. What I found works is to separate all of the amino acids into categories, put all of the neutral amino acids together, put all the positive amino acids together, and to put all of the negative amino acids together. Put all the amino acids with rings together, put all the amino acids with hydroxyl groups together, and put all the amino acid groups with amines together. These groupings will help you remember which amino acids are similar to one another and what distinguishes those similarities. Now, I don't know about you, but humor is the thing that always helps me remember stuff. I will never forget how Dr. Knapper met his wife or how 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate works in the mountains. If you've watched any of the other BMSC 200 videos, all two of them, you'll know that I love humor as an educational tactic. Here are some quickfire jokes to hopefully help you remember your amino acids. Glycine. He's my boy. He's my G. Simple to remember because it's just like your alphabet. G has an H. Alanine, or ala 9 if you prefer, for when you're feeling fine, just do that methyl group. Don't do drugs, kids. Valine is nice. If you turn that frown upside down, you'll see there's actually a V for valine. Cysteine. When you get a gross cyst, like that kid from Fairly Odd Parents, you want to be quiet about it. Shh. Shh. Proline. Pro. Line. Because he's round. And I mean, he kind of looks like a pea. I guess. Sort of? Leucine and isoleucine. This is extroverts and introverts. Leucine, the methyl group, wants to hang around with everybody. Isoleucine, he just wants to be isolated and by himself and die alone. Methionine. I always make this guy like a song. <laughs> Tryptophan. I always think of this guy like Tryptophant with this one. He looks like an elephant. How cute is that? How neat is that? That's pretty neat. Phenylalanine. We got alanine, we got phenyl, transform to get phenylalanine! 
Those were all of our non-polar amino acids. Now on to the polar ones. It shouldn't come as a surprise that all of these have hydroxyls or oxygens which can become negatively charged. Serine. Did you know she makes great music? Threonine. We have three things. Ch, O, and nine. I, I don't have a funny joke for why CH3 is nine. Tyrosine. For some reason, I always think of Tyrogue from Pokemon. He evolves into Hitmontop, who spins in circles, which is why we have a ring on Tyrosine. Asparagine. Asparagus. I mean, he kind of looks like the guy from VeggieTales. Glutamine. I always remember Q because I have cute glutes. This guy is the same as Asparagine with another CH2. He's just taller. Taller means nice glutes. Not proven scientifically. Now onto the positively charged amino acids. These guys typically have a lot of CH2 groups with the exception of histidine. For lysine, I always remember to take Nix for lice to remember that there's four CH2 groups. What's a pirate's favorite amino acid? Arginine. Arginine has a nitrogen peg leg. It's funny. Histidine is our weird one. It's got this five-membered ring with nitrogen on top and nitrogen on the bottom. And finally, we have the negatively charged amino acid. We have aspartic acid and glutamic acid. The only difference between these two is the number of CH2s. I always arrange this one alphabetically. Asp starts with an A, has D. Glue starts with a G, has E. Negatives are icky, so just remember that your ick means negative. Hopefully some of those tips and tricks will help you remember your amino acids for that grueling exam. And always remember, every day is better with biochemistry. Peace!